shit, Nikki. You turned up like the fucking cavalry. I thought you were dead. Not my time. Good to see you again, ma'am. Take my hand. <sighs> Colonel didn't make it? I'm glad you're here, man. This place. those things up and get the fuck out. Good plan. Sergeant K, what do we got left? So we got um, eight clips of 556 FMJ, three 40 mil high X rounds, a couple of nine mil pistols, four clips between them. We'll make that work. Huh. Plus two phosphor rounds. And one block of composition C4. All in is not enough. We've also got this. Ah, it's old, unpredictable. We work with what we got. Now, fuses are shot, but we can use the C4 to detonate them. Let's just hope they still pack a punch. The vampires come from those cocoons. You saw how many there were in that vault? There could be thousands in there. Should we blow them up? Burn as many of those motherfuckers as we can and head for the surface. What do you think, Sergeant? Ooh, rah. I'm not gonna allow him to carry a pistol. We are way past that point now, ma'am. We stand together as one. Still got that med kit. Now'd be a good time to use it. It's looking pretty late. I can only patch up one person. You need to dress this. No excuses. You won't get any from me. Thanks, buddy. Looks like our explorer friends were here, too. We should search this place before we move out. Any juicy gossip? It belonged to Mary Hodgson. Of all the topics she wrote about, one thing stood out more than the rest. What's that? She wanted to go home. Mary's not the only one, is she? in it for him. Is it really all about these tablets? of this temple are drenched in blood. We have set foot on an uncharted shore and roused something ancient and wicked. A blasphemy that comes in indescribable shapes and forms. For eons we lived as children in this world, unaware of the horrors that slumber beneath our feet. Now we have blindly thrown open the gates to madness. I fear being taken, but I must do what I must. We must seal this place for eternity, for all mankind. 
Mary, I'm sorry. None of them made it out alive. Over here. I found something. How confident are you that they'll work? They'll work. And how are you holding up? Well, not great, truth be told. I should have said it sooner, but um, I'm sorry about Eric's death. Thank you. It means a lot. Rachel, I just want your hand. It's nothing. I'm just cold. I wouldn't give to see daylight again. <laughs> daylight and a cold one. Rachel. Yeah? I'm sorry for your loss. Eric was a good man. He was. meaning here it's a language formed from chords musical scales sonics mary was a pianist she deciphered it she thought these carvings represented the stars do you see it's cetus the whale we're a long way from the night sky it's a mystery According to the journal, there was only one scale of sound in the device. But Mary was studying it alone. I think there may be another. I'm going to need your help. What can I do? 
This console is too big to operate single-handedly. that these creatures were once peaceful. Their language was one of music. How could they not feel emotion? Then a tragedy fell upon them. Their great empire collapsed. Their music fell silent, and they turned on each other. What happened? Sickness? Madness? What turned them from architects into killers? Whatever it is, it twisted them. Now they're creatures of hate. Animals. Dead things. No one left to kill. So they slept. And they waited. They waited for us. Rachel. Rachel, Rachel, look at me. She has it. It's inside her. Sorry. Seeing what I'm seeing? Those mounds are made of cocoons. Thousands of them. If we set the charges there, they'll all burn. We gotta move. Quick. Okay, listen up. We've been hit hard tonight. We lost brothers. Rachel's gone. 
Shows the colonel. But now, it's time to get some payback. We plan charges on as many of those clusters as possible and then detonate them remotely. The second those charges go off, we haul ass to the exit. If luck is on our side, we'll do more than fry a few vampires. We'll create a diversion. Shalim, you ready? I am. Okay then, let's get loose, kids. Okay. Who's going to place the dynamite? All right, fuck it. I'll do it. You're crazy. We'll do it together. Nah, the more of us down there, the more chances we'll get seen. Take the detonator. If I don't make it... Nick, hear me out. If I don't make it, I want you to blow those charges. Just don't go getting trigger happy on me. Every step of the way, you keep a radio contact. And if there's no radio signal, then I'll pop a flare. You see it go up, you hit that detonator. Be quick and be safe. You hear me, buddy? What is that? I can't make it out. There! There's one ahead of him. To his left. Nick, the cocoons are hatching ahead of you. You gotta move fast. First item at his down. Over. Which way? Left bolt, right. the mother of them. It's too far. I'm going for it. This is way too easy. What is it? There are too many. He's a dead man. Sweet baby Jesus. Wait! 
What will warning him do now? There is no way out. Hey, how's it looking up there? Hundreds of them. At least you've got the boss to tell me the truth. I'm sorry, Nikki. For this? For what happened at that checkpoint? It's a war, Jason. Bad shit happens. Get out.
Rest in peace, Nicky. Fucking alive. This is Bailman 21 Actual to Coyote 2. Radio check over. This is Coyote 2, solid copy. Evac units are being prepped. ETA five hours. Wait. Over. Improvise, adapt, and overcome. We fucking did it! Look. Look around you. <sighs> so quiet. <gasps> you think those shepherds are still around here? I could use a cold one. I must return home to my boy. He must be worried about me. Not again.
do we have? You tell me, I don't know shit about space. Contact! I need to see my boy. A souvenir. Shalim, wait. Good luck, brother. You wish Zane a happy birthday from me. Thank you, Jason. Goodbye, my friend.
This is mail meant to an actual. We have eyes on and are clear for even. Oh. Freely they stood who stood, and fell who fell. Not bad. You've guided some of your charges to the light, while others have fallen to the darkness. Survival often comes at a great cost, a cost that others sometimes must pay. The enemy of my enemy is my friend. First Lieutenant Kolchek was a revelation, was he not? He finally made peace with the demons he'd been carrying with him and forged the unlikeliest of friendships. I look forward to our next encounter. Perhaps I'll choose a story that's a little more homely next time, somewhere you'd be guaranteed of a decent night's sleep. Rest assured. Wherever it is, you'll find it extremely hard to leave. Until the next time. You know the way out.